it's turned a little colder here in Red Deer. We're at the beautiful Centrium for this year's Scotty's Tournament of Hearts. A year ago, Amber Holland was the challenger. Jennifer Jones, the champion. And in a battle to the end, Holland took home the title. Amber Holland will win the Scotties. This week, both teams are playoff favorites. Both teams sit near the top of the standings. Two of the biggest games in curling. Face off in a rematch of last year's final. The Scotties continues. It's day three Monday night and this game was circled immediately when we got the schedule. This is a rematch coming up of last year's final in Charlottetown. Now this afternoon Manitoba was on the ice against Newfoundland and Labrador and Jennifer Jones and her team from Winnipeg trying to rebound after they had lost yesterday their first to Alberta and in the ninth Jones was given a tough time by Heather Strong and the team from St. John's but this is the kind of shot you expect from a four-time Canadian champion that little angle raise got her two as she went on to the win a third win for the four-time champion. So Manitoba wins. PEI steals against Saskatchewan, coming back stealing the last three points. It was New Brunswick beating Kerry Galusha from Yellow Knight, and Nova Scotia wins their first. Heather Smith Dacey, who won the bronze medal last year, is now one and three. Top of the table, but we have the one undefeated team. That's BC. That's Kelly Scott, two-time Canadian champion. With Team Canada, Manitoba 3-1 about to step onto the ice and throw stones at each other. Alberta, Ontario, Saskatchewan, New Brunswick at two. And now we have no winless teams. As on this Monday night, we say hello Canada and welcome back to our continuing coverage of the Scotties. Linda Russ alongside. So she's 3-1, the defending champion. There were lots of questions coming in about Amber Holland and the Canadian team. Do you still have those questions? Not with Amber Holland, I don't, but uh, maybe part of the team. Uh, Kim had a really bad game. Uh, Tammy wasn't too much better. And Kim was 85 for three games, 66 this morning. She has to rebound it, keep up the gate in the laws. She did it last year. She has to do it again this afternoon. Well, as mentioned, we've been looking forward to this game ever since we saw the schedule. Is this a message game? Is this a little bit of a payback time for... <laughs> Manitoba. Well, the one thing about Jennifer Jones, a real strength of hers, is they look at round robin play as a way to make the playoffs. They're very good at one game at a time, no big highs and lows. My only criticism is sometimes they look a little unfocused, maybe not enough energy. I tell you what, I don't think that's a problem for this game. There'll be lots of motivation. So our feature game, Manitoba against Team Canada, but I think there are several teams out here. This is a confidence boosting kind of night for them they pick up a win and they might have a good Scotties from here on out runs the yellow back on to red and what a shot amazing stuff from Amber Holland it's a draw against three and what else would you expect The 2012 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like cashmere. The 2012 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by World Financial Group. Proud to be a sponsor of the Season of Champions. Your dreams, our strategies. By Tim Horton's new lattes made with premium espresso. And by Capital One. What's in your wallet? Well, as we take a look at some of the games on the ice here, there are key games. Nova Scotia won their first today. Can they knock off and hand Kelly Scott her first? Our featured game is on sheet B. On sheet C, it's two teams that are 2-0, and oh, and Saskatchewan, Ontario, both coming off losses, while Alberta seems to be getting it together. Heather Nedowin going against New Brunswick that also is coming off an important win. So all those teams looking to get above 500. So it is Manitoba against Team Canada. Time to meet the teams now brought to you by Ford Drive One. Hi, I'm Jennifer Jones, Skip from Team Manitoba. 
Our lead is Don Askin, our second is Jill Officer, third is Caitlin Laws, and we curl out of the St. Mattel Curling Club in Winnipeg. Hi, I'm Amber Holland, skip from Team Canada. Our lead is Heather Kalinchuk, our second is Tammy Schneider, our third is Kim Schneider, and we curl out of the Chrono Curling Club in Chrono, Saskatchewan. Manitoba will play the Red Stones, Team Canada the yellow, and as you can see, Manitoba won the draw to the button, so they will have the last draw. They'll have the hammer in this opening end of play. It's a rematch of last year's Scotty's final in Charlottetown, and to get us underway, the Team Canada lead is Heather Kalinchuk. I think we're going to expect to see uh, the strengths played out in this game for both teams, and for Amber Holland and the Team Canada, that's to play it a little more open, and we certainly know Jennifer Jones' approach. Yeah, it's strictly pure offense for the Manitoba team. Uh, they want to uh, create mistakes. All the good teams tend to do that, but you have to place the rocks in the right spots, and if you're off, you're in trouble. Because, uh, we saw that with the one loss. They gave up a couple of big ends, and uh, a couple there. times Jennifer didn't have a shot. So, but... Uh, they played well percentage-wise, all four players. Interesting to see what comes not out of too, Team Canada here. They've uh, had three solid victories, but were Take very it. sharp this morning. You know, Linda, we're often critical, uh, you, Russ, in particular, with the open style of play. You cannot take anything away from Manitoba, Jennifer Jones, and her aggressiveness. But does she at all ever avoid it and go into the house and play the stone in the house? Is it depend on rock position? Yeah. I think it depends uh, perhaps on opposition. She actually did it in the first game of this championship, played a little more open. I think it's a mistake for her, though. I think she likes to push the opposition and play those demanding shots. All right, well, let's take a look at what the game plan just may be for these two teams. Brought to you by World Financial Group. Your dreams are strategies. For Manitoba, they need to continue to make use of the hammer. She's very good when she has the last rock of getting deuces. She aims for a high target score. Points on average per game, seven and a half for Manitoba, where Team Canada, clearly, they just have to set up the ends better. Amber Holland has been facing very tough situations. Yes. Russ mentioned Kim Schneider, 66% in the earlier game today. Hard. All really four hard. players really for hard. Amber really Holland hard. have to turn up to win this game. That's okay. Sorry, Amber. <laughs> <laughs> and the double will be made. Everything spills. Manitoba sitting top 12. Just to give you an idea, between these two teams, you can clearly see already just four games into this championship about style of play. I mentioned that Manitoba, seven and a half points on average per game. That's their points. For Amber Holland, she's just getting six. They have the same record. That is style of play differences. And there's nothing wrong with either style if you can be successful at it. And I think for Amber, she'll try and keep it a little open, at least to start this game. And it's funny, that is one thing we talk about, the draw to the button. And the draws, both of them were very good prior to game. Amber was just back button and... Manitoba, Jennifer Jones right whoa, on the button. Whoa, whoa. If you go first, whoa. you can little dictate a little more of the play in the sure. first end. Yes, you can get that rock out in front, but often you can start to encourage a little bit of the Ten. play to the middle with hits. Okay. And I think that's an advantage for Amber to start this game. I agree. I certainly agree. And you tend to, uh, without Hammer, you tend to play a lot more draw shots than the other team. And, um, and, you know, unless something makes a big mistake. But uh, it, getting that draw feel seems to be the key for all these women's teams. Is that most of the teams are struggling with draw weight. 9-3. Always nice to have uh, Kathy Goche with us, and uh, I think you found some friends. <laughs> that shouldn't be shocking to you, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you talk about the draw weight, Russ. It's not draw weight, actually. Murph Onger said before the game, it is beyond all of that. He thinks it's mental. He thinks the teams are overthinking things. When he talks specifically about his teams, he says they are thinking outcome. They are not thinking process. And as soon as you start thinking about where you need the rock to go instead of just throwing it at the broom, it's a challenge. And Linda, it's interesting because I know of all the work you've done in coaching. He feels that coaches at this level need to do a much better job at being better trained in mental training and also to get their teams to spend more time on the mental aspect because that's what separates so many of the teams at this level. Let's go, Kim. 
I completely agree. I spend a lot of time working with sports psychologists and working on my own skills in that area. And I think that is the one big gap in curling. If you get a team that goes out there very mentally prepared and has the skills in place within a game to recover from mistakes, to stay positive, to focus, all the things we teach them, you got to take it to the big game too. You have to be able to do it yourself out on that ice. Well, Jill Lofficer comes up light with her stone, and so now a couple of corner guards for Team Canada to possibly wrap around here with the first stone from Team Canada third, Kim Schneider. Remembering now that Manitoba does have the last rock here in the first. Kathy was talking about Murph Fonger, a longtime coach of Amber Holland. I mean, they go back to the the 92 Canadian junior that they won together. So he knows this uh, this particular lady, this skip very well. And one thing we need to say is uh, full credit to the coaches that come with these teams. It's a, a very long and difficult job to work with a top team and many of them are volunteers and they give hours of their time and lots of dollars out of their wallet to do the job. So for Merv and all the coaches here, congratulations on a great job. You know, I'd like to think we have the best coaches in our country and uh, Merv's one of the top ones for sure. I was lucky enough to spend three days with them when they were marooned in Moncton <laughs> after the snowstorm after they won the Canadian that Championship. That could be a movie. Marooned, marooned in Moncton. In Moncton. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, he, uh, he's got different, uh, a different way of doing um, the strategy, a different way of doing uh, stats and how his team performs. And there's Janet Arnott who has been a long time coach, course, Canadian world champion in her Hi. own right. Coaching this Manitoba championship team. Easy. Caitlin Law is a little heavy, rolls off, and now a chance here for Team Canada maybe to get, get the force. They got a little fortunate because uh, coming around that corner guard and going at all deep anywhere back, which the one was close to the T line that Kim Schneider had thrown is very dangerous territory. You can see the aggressiveness of Jennifer Jones. She is drawing around that corner, even with Shot Rock being over on the other side in the forefoot. This is one of the reasons they win as much as they do. They, they're applying pressure. They, they don't have to play perfect if they can get you to miss. And this is one way to create a miss out of Team Canada. Not afraid to draw against two or three points. Jones doesn't have to hit that Shot Rock. If they can sink one here, they can create a miss. Hard, hard, hard. Okay. Oh. Okay. Boy, that's um. Yeah. All right, that's look at that's three missed shots now. One by uh, one by Jill Officer and uh, two by Caitlin. So shaky starts right in the middle of the lineup. Nope. That, that's a pretty big miss, having seen that spot already. Yeah, and we, that's our spot, our favorite spot to talk about. <laughs> that's our spot. Don't, yes. don't don't get me started, but <laughs> oh, it's so nice. It's our spot. That's our spot. But it, we know coming off that center line, it'll bust. Okay, this, it'll top? bend more now than it will later in the game because it's fresh pebble, and it's not uncommon to see a rock come up light and over curl early it's in the game. Hard. And I asked you in the uh, in the drive over because we were on sheet D earlier today, uh, watching Prince Edward Island and Saskatchewan, and certainly from the inside out. It did, and I asked you. In fact, all the sheets were similar. It sure and seems that way now here yeah. on this one, anyway. Yeah, they have to be very close, and and you do get airflow problems on the outside sheets at some events, at some buildings. You get frost, and 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 there's a disclaimer there because it can change. You can't just walk in there and say, oh, it's going to do this every single game. It's a long week. Things do change. We watched that at the Junior Vic. Uh, the final game was much straighter than it had been all week, but the tendency so far is more curl inside out. Yeah, a little. We're all there. A little bit deeper. That's okay. No, no, no. Can we go? No, 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 no. Well, they're going to come in to the top 12. They're going to leave a corner yeah, open. Good shot. Bad shot. I think I, I, think, I didn't see the more. actual call. You could have come a little bit lighter. Because if Jennifer makes this double, she's in the rings. But the it's good part is it is high enough that if there is a double made, it's not going to be shot raw. Right, like so they nine, can simply like draw, ten. split the host for two, or go around the corner and four. So, yeah, I think that's a great shot. And I tell you what, Vic, the one thing you want Jennifer Jones to be doing is hitting third shot. You don't want her to have a chance to play a freeze or a come around or the kind of shot that she okay. really likes and sets up and in so okay. well. Try to make the double. Sorry, 
got to roll to bite the aphid dawn. I don't know yeah. if it's there, but if you can spin it in at the end. Side here. Let's go. Familiar numbers and positioning for Jennifer Jones, but her, her turns are quite different on her draws, and we'll get to that if it comes up in this game. So the consistency isn't really there throughout all her shots. And I haven't seen her have to throw too many tough ones. She made a nice tap for two in the ninth against uh, Newfoundland, but other than that, she hasn't played a lot of them. Angles it back and by, and the shooter will roll out or just comes yeah, back pardon me to bite the edge of the 12 but it is right now team canada without last rock sitting two put this rock in almost exact same spot it forces jennifer to play a wide come around tap or to play the double again to actually give up a point shoot still yeah joe was soft on hers and it just kind of went sideways you got it here you go where do you go with this same place, Nick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same place. Great opportunity to match your rocks to your own exact same shot. A little less. Yep. So a little less out of her hand. And right away, Our Heather Kalinchuk and Tammy Three Schneider more. pick her up. Mine's really good. Curling quite a bit now. Right to my broom. And this time they're going to cover it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I did kind of fall back a little on you. I think I kicked a little harder and then maybe. That was close. Good throw. Great yeah, end, great guys. shot. Yeah. But it would have been nice. It would have been perfect. It was back in that exact same position, maybe yeah. here. Yeah. Because then when Jennifer plays this shot, there's so much curl. You couldn't get by there. It would force Jennifer to a new path this way. This makes this shot a little bit easier. So I mentioned the difference in her turns. This is her favorite turn, and it is playing very well this week. 87% on her in-turn draws, only 61% on the out-turn draws. You can pick that up sometimes too, Lynn, can't you? Just by watching every practice draw when Jennifer does the, the money shot to the button for Hammer, she'll throw the in-turn. And right away here, forced to draw the lid. It's got to come off those guards covering the edge of the four. Now it breaks for them, Askin. Officer will take it to the pin. Drawing against a couple over here right in the first. And she is right on the money. Jennifer Jones and Manitoba will pick up the single. But a very good start for the defending champions, Team Canada, as they get the force. Want to win a two-year lease on a 2012 Ford Focus S? You can log on to FordHotShots.Curling.ca and test your online curling skills. And for every participant at this year's Scotties, they also had a chance to win a lease on this 2012 Ford Focus Titanium by testing their on-ice curling skills. The final, a battle of skips. Newfoundland's Heather Strong against Northwest Territories Yukon's Kerry Galusha. And thanks to shots like this, the hit and stick right to the button, Galusha is your winner, winning a two-year lease on a 2012 Ford Focus Titanium. Don't forget to log on to FordHotShots.Curling.ca for your chance to win. And just like Kerry Galusha, you too could drive away in a brand new Ford. We have lots of eyes on all the action. Here at the Centrium, our coverage of the 2012 Scotties Tournament of Hearts continues. Our featured game, a rematch of last year's championship game, Team Canada, with the last rock here in the second, playing the Yellow Stones. Interestingly enough, first stone from Manitoba came just top edge of the four center line, and Team Canada, unlike Jennifer Jones, made the hit on it, and that's why the play is in the in the rings now. So Linda, was it a case of positioning of stone? Or it was just, that's the way Amber Holland's going to play it. That is Amber Holland's style. And the one thing I'll say about Amber Holland is she's one of the best 
athletes for mental skills. And what I like about her skipping is she has a plan. She knows the strengths of her team, and she is not tempted away by somebody else's play. She's going to hit it, and she'll probably hit it several times if the situation repeats itself until she gets to a position where she has an opportunity she wants to take. I can't agree more. Uh, Jennifer played the aggressive call, so you'd think Amber would do the same just to say, look at me, but uh, that's not her style. Her, her team struggled this morning, and until she sees otherwise, I think she's going to keep it kind of open. Now, I'm a little surprised with the way she played that whoa, corner, whoa, which, uh, whoa, sorry, whoa. You know, leaving the one on the other side, yeah, yeah. I didn't think she'd do that this early. Yeah, yeah, really hard. Really coming down. Yeah, really quiet. And 11. <laughs> okay. Almost looked like a grab. that way, though. No. One thing we talk about are all the ways you can generate extra points, one being using a guard, whether it's a center guard if you don't have last rock or a corner guard if you do have last rock. And we do talk about options, for example, freezes and taps of rocks in the rings. The only difficulty is we watch that when she's hoping to stick it for a corner, which she does. On this ice, for example, that redstone on the T line, you could freeze or tap that one, but that is the spot they've had so much trouble with over curling and even on draws, open draws into the rings, over curling to the edge of the 12 foot in that spot. Hard! 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 Jill officer. Laws and Askin with a big scrub. Oh my, I had left. She's going to get her wish. Okay, Amber gets the nose. Just no speed in that one. I think Jill threw it right up the broom, but did not throw the desired weight. And here's the chance already to get around that corner. Uh, no, but that's, there's two here. I mean, it's not the best to start. And I, yep. Right for Jill. I mean, when we heard, when we heard Jennifer talking the last day, and uh, Jill yeah, underthrew Stones then too. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's for sure. The come around, the free come around that came up light. And then a little bit soft on this one, too. Oh, boy. That's not going to help. Slider got out from under Tammy. Ooh. She's holding her knee. She said it locked, actually. Okay, Tam. Okay. She's not. Oh, we can call Maybe medical time out. out. That's fine. Okay. If Jolene Campbell is uh, yeah. fifth no, she's, player, uh, she's in some pain. Yes. Are you okay, Tammy? Eating the logs. And uh, they're going to call a medical please. time out. No off. Clean. Please. No roll. No roll. We're rolling big. Should roll. And they will roll That's over. It. Spin it up, Dilly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, go, 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 go. To sit two go. as Good. Tammy Schneider continues to hold her knee. Kathy? Well, for a medical timeout, the team can have three minutes or the discretion of the officials. So for Brenda Rogers and her team, if they feel that there is the delay, they can ask them to hurry it up. But I think that in this case, if they feel that the decision is being made, they will let them have the time that they need for her to make a decision whether she can continue to play. Well, look, and I'm assuming that she is in uh, some pain. Jolene Campbell, of course, is the uh, fifth player. I mean, if for something to bring tears to your eyes, that uh, you're in some pain. Yeah, and a locked up knee is a real problem. It's a sign of uh, something that's not right, let's face it. So you want to be very careful with that. You don't want to continue and cause some damage. <laughs> and uh, you saw, like, like the manager calling for the, the right-hander, so it looks like we will see Jolene into the game, and it's... Every curler that's ever thrown a rock is holding their breath. We've all had knee pain. And that's uh, 
It probably makes sense to sit out the rest of the game, Linda. As I said, you do not want to cause any more problems. It's time to have it looked at, get some ice on it, make sure it's okay. Luckily for uh, Team Canada, Jolene is a wonderful player. She's one of the top skips in the province. Hung in there in the provincials this year. It's unsettling for the whole team. We're talking about a big game here. They're wanting to keep uh, things rolling along for them. For Kim and Heather, they want to make sure that the whole team just settles down once Jolene comes out. It's just very unusual for this early in the game to be a replacement. later just do your arms <laughs> the poor thing gets to <laughs> run down and brush right away Charlene has been with the team uh, since 2010 when they went six and five and then of course a member Slow of the team right. last year as they won the Canadian championship yep <laughs> All right, just Good. nine and a half here. Yeah. Okay, let's Here's go. Yep, yep. Hard, hard! Hard, really hard! Hard, you got hard. it! Hard! Yep, stay on it, stay on it. I got it, I got it. Good too. Good job, Heather. Thanks. I think it'll be close, Don. Eh? Close, yeah. Let's begin our updates. We told you Nova Scotia coming off a win has an early 2 0 lead over BC, looking to hand BC their first loss. Saskatchewan scores a deuce on Ontario. And it's New Brunswick taking the early lead. Rebecca Atkinson ahead of Heather Nedowin from the Savile Sports Center in Edmonton. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. Top T line. Full four. Full four. Nice shot, Caitlin. Nice pressing, guys. That's good. Good way, Kale. Good job. Right Here? Yeah. Hey. Okay, let's go. Nice double by Kim there. A low risk end here to get Jolene kind of acclimatized. And hopefully she's been watching diligently at the ice yep, and the yep, different tendencies yep. that we've Sorry, talked hard, about in the last couple hard. of games. Take me a couple times. Really hard. Hard. Hard for peace. Really hard, guys. Hard. You got to go. Okay. Get sleeping. Okay. It's over the now, top. It's interesting. I mean, the question mark with Jolene so, yeah. is that she is a Close skip. Anyway. Jolene yeah. does skip her own team out of Humboldt, Saskatchewan. Uh, she's going to be playing that oh, second right spot. Right Her sweeping okay. ability as a skip yeah, come into question here. Yeah, more really the stamina and the ability to anaerobically handle the different uh, yeah. task yeah, of brushing that 30 like second spurt. Really it's a yeah, tough thing like over and over to keep that up when you're not used to it. Yeah. It's nice for it's Team Canada that this end has opened yeah. up. Yeah. It's just yeah. simple. It's going to be a chance it looks like for a blank and everybody can calm down take that little break between ends and figure out what they're going to do next. Good judge. Got a girl. Nice Jen. Good. I know. <laughs> well, welcome to the game. <laughs> And a half. Okay. This is good. Saskatchewan picked up two in the first, and uh, Michelle Englot looks like she's uh, sitting one center covered top four, Kathy. Well, she is, and for Tracy, not a lot of options. She's trying to go through a tiny port and hope that it catches that big swing to tap that stone back. Even the in off. She's trying the it's angle. close. It's real close. Angle it back. Good. Catch it. No. And so it will be a steal of one for Saskatchewan. 
Both those teams as you see two and two coming in. Tracy Horgan and her team first appearance for all four out of the Idlewild Golf and Country Club in Sudbury. So, nice t-shirt earlier today there's a bunch of people here from Sudbury and of course they're wearing the Horgan's Heroes t-shirts. I said Peel. Oh, okay. Good thing I asked. <laughs> Let's go. So looking for the blank. Final stone here in this second. Clean. Amber Hall. Good, clean. Easy. Off. Off. Good. Okay. So blank on the board. Manitoba continues to lead 1-0. And Holland and Team Canada have to deal with the injury to Tammy Schneider. Well, let's update what's happening on uh, Sheet A, Nova Scotia against BC. After Nova Scotia opened with a couple, final stone for Kelly Scott. Well, Nova Scotia's Heather Smith Dacey had a lot of opportunity in this end to put a lot more pressure on Kelly Scott than this, coming deep on her final one. And you uh, notice that Sasha Carter is not playing, and instead on the right we have Sherry Fraser. Uh, there is some flu, we're told, going around uh, through the uh, curling community here and some of the players are feeling it and so that is a uh, steal of one more and a three nothing lead for Nova Scotia and we think also that Kelly Scott may be one of those affected and here was uh, Kelly between the ends just uh, sitting there and as you said Lindy we rarely if ever see her do that. No, she's usually full of energy and watching all the rocks so we'll just keep an eye out. Hopefully all the players will recover quickly. It's a tough thing. Often an event has that happen. You're shaking hands out there. You're sharing Grim, locker rooms. Grim, it's really tough to Grim. avoid. And the weather too has been a little bit up and down. We came here to uh, Red Deer. It's been it was very very mild and then Whoa. last night's turned colder. We yeah, had snow yeah. supposed to get up to around okay, plus dinner. three plus four for about two or three days and then turning very cold for the weekend. So that's the kind of winter it has been here in the West, as in really much of the country. One nothing, Manitoba leads. The blank in two means that Team Canada, Amber Holland, has the last rock playing the yellow stones. And this is the Manitoba no, second really Jill Officer. This March of the Gold Trail, Quiet. season we prior are. to Christmas, okay. giving okay. birth to her first. Child Carmen on uh, December the 12th, and she just returned to the ice. I throw it that quiet for the play okay. downs okay. in January. I thought it was I quiet over like your head. Well. Yeah. I'm through this way. I got a 1547. Okay. So, yeah, I'll give it to you guys. Yeah. Well, it's interesting with Jill because, Russ, before the game, you were looking at their stats and pointing out that Jill had a preferred turn so far, and that was the out turn, but her in turn was they a lot lower. Yes. Yeah. But these out turns she's throwing, I think she's on the broom, she's just we're throwing good. them very Three, light. Four. Just soft weight, you can hear them talking about it. So Jolene Campbell yeah, now like at second and throwing for the shot. defending Canadian champions. World silver medalists, Tammy okay, Schneider out with knee problems okay. and with Kathy. We saw you go down and holding your knee. Walk us through what happened. Uh, I was just coming out of the hack, and my knee just kind of buckled and gave way. It feels like it popped, so we're just going to get it checked out and take any precautions just because it's still a long week, so we'll just get it checked out and see what's happening. And do you have a history of knee problems? No, it's never happened before, so it's, uh, it kind of feels a little bit weird at the moment. So we'll hopefully get it all uh, checked out and everything will be okay. We all wish you good luck at coming back. Thank you. Better? How disruptive can that be to lose a player? Well, I think it's 
very unsettling. If it's the flu, it's one of those where you think the person will be back maybe in a day or so once they've had a chance to rest. If it's a knee, you get very nervous, Vic, about your teammate and what might happen. No matter how good the spare player is, you haven't yep. played with them yep. on a regular basis yep. and you just would like your regular team member yep. back. I'm just curious. I don't know if you can answer this. Um, let's assume that the she cannot, Tammy cannot come back. Jolene is going to stay in. Is there a pool of players as there are in some bond spiels to pick from, or are they going to go now with this lineup? Is this is a, you come with your five player team and that's it. And if you lose one, another one, you play down to three players? Is that's that what right. you do? Okay. Yeah, the two front enders would throw three rocks each. Yes. Yeah. Skipper throws two. Sorry, Caitlin. I've never thought that was an awful thing. I, uh, you, if you were throwing three rocks each, you get draw weight a little quicker. You throw 50% more than your okay. your counterpart. So. And yes, you're down to one brusher, but it's the inside brusher, which is the more important brusher yeah. anyways. But uh, we might see that happen before the week's out here, the way the uh, VC's looking and uh, possibly an injury here. with Amber playing this conservative style but still going to the corner guards on the second throw on the chance once the free guard zone rule is out of play she's then trying to play the guards it's a little bit different style than we've seen from her in the past and uh, at this point the only unfortunate part is if Manitoba can sit two then you do get forced to the single well he keeps throwing the corner guard in the rings exactly. that's, that's uh, kind of ruins the plan Uh, nice throw, Jolene's first shot, My so fault. we have to give her a bye on that one. <laughs> yeah, we do. I think one of the things that we talk about with this arena ice, we talk about it's quick, often compared to curling club ice, which is a little slower. And it's not just the fact that the rock slides better down the ice. Your slider actually slides differently on the surface. And so the feeling you have is that you're throwing exactly the right weight, but you get to that hog line a lot faster. Exactly, and it's hard to change that muscle memory. You, you kick out a certain speed for the draw weight, and all of a sudden the hog line shows up, and it's that much quicker. You know, in some team sports, you thought is that players oh, yes, very good. try to yes, pick good. each other up, tend they to want to uh, maybe compensate for the lost player. Do you find that in curling as well? It's great to have someone on your team that has that kind of positive energy. I think Kim actually does. It's probably tough for her with her sister being the one injured. Yes. But she's usually a very happy person. Amber is actually one of the most positive people you'll ever meet. And it's nice to have at least one of those on a team that can pick you up if something's really bothering the team. Skip Stones here in the third, one nothing, Manitoba, Jennifer Jones. Be able to hold the shooter. We're talking about the fact that Team Canada loses a little focus with the changeover. You have to remember when there's a delay of any sort, even Manitoba will feel the effects of that a little bit. The change of focus, the sort of the lull that happens. You have to kind of get yourself energized again. Yeah, especially I think oh. Russ, if you're a quick player, I don't know if we can categorize Jones and Team as a quick team. No, they're pretty methodical for sure. They like lots of rocks and plates, so they're used to a lot of uh, situations, talking, discussing, and so, the, yeah, that would a little bit different for sure. But I, I'm sure uh, the Jones team's played enough not to have a, a problem with this type of distraction.
Rolls it in, rolls it out, and out of play. Sorry. Your weight was fine, yeah? Weight was yeah. yeah, it was yep. good weight. See less? Yeah, I think so. It's not really overthrowing him at all. No, because I think mean, the girls thought it was about 97. Yeah. Just too much ice, that was the discussion. It's not faster though, I don't no. think, no. right? It's gonna curl quite a bit. I think we can go then. T line. Not moving yet. Not curling. Not curling. Not curling. Looks like it's gliding a lot. Just T line. Good, Jen. It's better than it was when you were doing it. It's better than it was, so. Okay. Yeah, so playing for the play. Faster, probably. Yeah. That's Team Canada. Okay. Deal. All right. All right. Let's go. Pretty true spot here. It's a little bit straighter on this side. Uh, she's taking a wee bit of ice here. Obviously, the, the mistake would be narrow, not wide. <laughs> they can hold it in this spot. Final stone. Yep. Yep. Amber hard. Holland. Really hard. You got to go hard. Hard, hard, hard. You got it. Hard. Got it. Sure does. So another blank on the board. It remains one nothing Manitoba. Team Canada holding control of the last draw. We quickly want to go over to sheet D. Alberta and Manitoba in a 1 1 tie. Three stones, all Alberta stones. Final rock on the way from New Brunswick. Andrea Kelly. Kathy? Well, she changed the call three times. Initially, she was going to draw, then she was going to play the in turn and wound up with this out turn. No sit would give her shot. Uh, now it rolled. Did it stay? It looks, looks like it right. has. One for New Brunswick. And skipped by Rebecca Atkinson with Andrea Kelly throwing the fourth stone from the Gage Golf and Country Club in for a mucko. Welcome back. Let's quickly go over to Sheet A and a 3 0 Nova Scotia lead. And BC has a chance to get it all right back here, Kathy. Well, she certainly does, and the credit if she is able to make this shot bit goes to third, Dar Dar hello, Daleen Sievertson, who made a great shot. She went an in-off. She rolled her shooter behind the guards. That's the one that's covered. Really set this end up for the three. That'll do it. Three for BC. Nicely done, Kathy. And we're tied, 3-3. Three, three. Welcome back to the Centrium here in Red Deer on this Monday night. So Manitoba gets one back-to-back okay, -back blanks. We've had the injury to Team Canada second Tammy Schneider, meaning that Jolene Campbell now throwing the second stones. So is it about now we look up the record number of blank wins in a game at the Scotties? Post, of course, free guard zone roll. It's true. It's looking that way, isn't it? You know, Jennifer uh, would normally maybe tap that rock or yeah. guard it or get something going, and she's playing a little defensive also. There you go, Jolene. There you go. 420 for you. So what I know you're the fifth player and you come in you are a skip in all honesty you do not expect to play she is now she is a skip we talked about the physical differences what are the mental differences for her throwing a second stone here 
Well, Are there many? Oh, for sure. Uh, certainly, uh, you know, you're used to putting the broom where you want it and calling the exact weight. So whether Amber gives her that luxury, it's hard to say, but it's, it's, it's foreign. You're also out of that routine of put the broom down, slide to the far end. You're, you've got time to think about what you're doing, turn around. All of a sudden, you're down there. You're trying to speed up for the skip and, and uh, buy some time on the clock. And the, all those little things are different. You're not getting to read the ice. And um, yeah. plus the uh, physical exertion whoa, of sweeping and jumping in the hack. Yeah. I think that's it. The second yeah. is a really interesting position as we go, watch go, this go, hit go, roll go. over. Nice shot, Phil. But you brush, then throw, then brush. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's really no rest that you're always up there doing something. Whereas a skip, yeah. you have a little more time Let's to go. think, Are pause, you that? settle yeah. yourself, those sorts of things. So you only need a hair more, probably. Here's hey? the switch here now. Yeah. We're going to uh, uh, no, double peels, not your simple. Your so they're going to play the come yeah. around with the uh, former skip. She should be able to make this. I'm a little surprised she's not hitting just because those yeah. rocks are so close together, and that has been the pattern so far in the first three ends. Jolene threw yeah. one draw, Line's threw it really heavy, good. so Line's nice. a bit of a gamble. Line's room right now. Line's fine. All you. Line's great. Yep. Start yep. to throw now. Nice shot. Nice shot, Joe. Oh. Right here. She just needed an end or two to get warmed up. Very nice. Great yeah. weight. Good brushing. Just a shade off center. Almost where the broom is here to, uh, to make that run back straight back and maybe get the yellow. Caitlin Long. Just gives a little touch in the way by. Hangs around, back edge of the four. Great try, just the same. And uh, job done. All the guards are gone. And uh, Team Canada has to make everything perfect not to give up a double. So 95 the nice there. thing for Amber is it actually did get touched a little bit. If it sat just on center line, you'd have a little more difficulty spreading these rocks out. Didn't get pushed far, but still a little bit over to the one side. And now you can draw and try and even them up on the far side of the house. We gotta go. Kim Schneider. Right, get four. But it's a three. Three. Hard, babe. Get it a three, four. Where's it go? They have to work on this one. Sure do. Jolene Campbell on uh, the well, left. That's fine. Heather Callenchuk and uh, well, okay. that's, that's fine. fine. It'll okay. come up light. We talk about numbers a lot, and we look at overall statistics. And Kim earlier today did have that? a very okay. low game as far as shooting percentages go. But even so, some of the numbers of the team, when you look at them at first glance, seem pretty good. Yeah. It is that kind of Isn't shot, it? the shot Please. that you have to have in the house Please. to set up the deuce Please. that is being missed by this Team Canada Please. team. That is inconsistencies that you do not see from Good. a championship team, and you cannot do that and expect to go through and win this nice week. Time, That's why we've been a little right hard on them. It's not that they're missing all their shots. Good heavens, no. The key ones are getting missed and putting Amber in trouble. Exactly. I could have said it better. That's exactly what's happened, Linda. And, uh, it's, it's uncharacteristic. Uh, Kim's had uh, three good games, but this morning, for whatever reason, just struggled a little bit. And then sometimes it, uh, it takes a while to get going again. It's all about that confidence. I'm sure she'll come back. She certainly did last year. Big drag again for Campbell and Kellen Chuck. Hard, go. Every inch. Hard, guys. Hard, hard. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Nice sweep, ladies. Great sweep. Thank you. To the top edge of the eight, Shot yeah. Stone belongs to Manitoba. Back four. Uh, <laughs> behind that corner, I think. Do you guys okay. like that, or do you want to just draw the light? I think she'll wrap around. Could hit and stay oh, uh, without hammer here for Manitoba, Jennifer Jones. Present. The other shot is to draw to the open side. Yeah.
get away with this? Oh, yes, she does. What, uh, what forced her to change your mind? I thought, I heard her say, I think we're going to go around, and then next thing I know, she's playing the hit. No, she was, I think, sort of formulating her thoughts about what they would do, they being Team Canada. So thinking it through, if I throw it over here, what will they do? But I think the hit when you don't have hammer is the safest shot. Start right out of the way. I you know you've both hey, said that, Russ yeah, okay. and Belinda, that uh, okay. if you're ever in doubt, Let's think go. what the other team would exactly. like you to play. Yeah, that really uh, helps formulate your thoughts, I think. You, sometimes we get uh, really messed up with trying to think of 19 different things, and uh, that's the best way to do it. What would the other skip want you to do or not want you to do? And uh, that simplifies it in most cases. Jane. A little hit and flop Whoa. here to put some pressure on Jones. Down Amber the street spot. In her first, Whoa, pardon no, no. me. Yes, yes, yes! No roll, uh, there's the roll, the and it will flop in behind shot stone back four. Good shot, out of your We oh. talk about Amber's open style. She sure can play those hits well. How many times did you turn nothing into something? <laughs> eh? Yes. Now, so far in this event, she's made a double for a win and almost made the double against BC for the win. She makes some very big shots. Tempting to draw, but... <laughs> I think that's sort of the trademark of both Amber and Jennifer. They're consistently good, but they love the big shot. Like eight-ish. Okay. Jennifer, she's made a ton of these in the last few years. Very straight spot. Her intern, she backs it up just a little bit, so it will run incredibly straight. Oh, yeah. Final oh, stone, yeah. Manitoba. Oh, Jennifer yeah. Jones yeah. asking oh, officer backing off. Yeah. Now they'll yeah. pound it. Oh, now yeah. give it a few strokes, and sit. they'll get it. Sit. And needs to sit, sit to force. Sorry, and it looks like it may have just spun out. Yeah. <laughs> lost it. Great shot all the same. I, I didn't think that was rolling out. No. <laughs> you may wonder why Amber swept the house side of that yeah, rock once it was better. out, but often the I rock spin back, and you see a lot of players believe that if you brush the ice before it starts to spin, it will not spin back. If you watch the roll and see what they do over here, it looks kind of funny. The Amber's on the one side. Now she's doing the spinorama move, Whoa. and she brushes the house side, but there is actually a little theory about that. Prevent it from spinning back in. Yeah. Clean, easy. We've had a couple of blanks in two and three. Amber Holland and Team Canada playing for uh, a third straight here. Good. Yeah, that was like a lot of silence. And they'll get it. Kate Merlot just having one more look. Oh, you know what? She's going to put a stick to it. She's calling for a stick to this on the nice edge. Shooting. Just in Thanks. case the uh, rings aren't quite right. Uh, oh, my, if it's a little bit of a head game or not, but it's her like call. Oh, I think it's a great idea. Like, like, it, 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 you know, like, what have you got to lose? <laughs> we're, we're pretty close. I was like, I almost oh, because I was just back in here. Yeah. Well, yeah, that does look before. well out. They would have before the event happens during practice run the measuring stick around the six foot measure would show them if that had a true spot on the ring or not. And they would have marked in their little notebooks if there was any places where the ring seemed to be a little out. So here we go. Officials brought over the stick. And by that much. Look at that. So Caitlin Laws. Not far off. It is a blank. Remains one nothing, Manitoba. Let's continue with our updates and check in on uh, Saskatchewan and Ontario. Saskatchewan got two in the first, stole one in the second. Ontario and the team from Sudbury picked up a single in three, and now an opportunity for Saskatchewan to skip Michelle Englott from the Tartan Curling Club in Regina. In a seventh appearance at the Scotties, making the playoffs just once. And rolls to the inside. That'll do. That'll be for a couple more and a 5 1 lead. On sheet A, Nova Scotia 
and BC. Nova Scotia got two, stole one. We showed you the big three that BC got back in the third. And now it is Heather Smith Daisy from CFP Halifax, Kathy, with a chance to get a couple. Well, she has, and the entire end, Nova Scotia has been set up to score two, but on her final stone, Kelly Scott was able to roll the direction of the Nova Scotia shot, so it's a little bit more difficult. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and she'll push it through, but can't hold the shooter. So, uh, missed opportunity, settles for just the single and a 4-3 lead. And now you are up to date on this Monday night here in Red Dirt's Draw 8. And our featured game is a rematch of last year's championship final in Charlottetown. Manitoba opened with a single and we've had three straight blanks since then. Got something going again here now, Manitoba. Comes in, Team Canada can't get around, Manitoba covers. And remembering now that Team Canada does have the last draw here in five playing the yellow stone. It is two perfect stones for Don Ask in tight guard and a come around. Really good call by Amber, the come around was not going to be in. So she made sure it stopped just short so she can use it if needed. First the freeze. Not yet, no. Heather Kalinchuk. Okay. Nice wave, Heather. Just snuggles up beside. Just a little more nice finish. Heather. That would have been great. Just want to move it a hair. Just T-line weight. Uh, I don't want to throw this one. I'm sorry. That yellow, as you said, uh, can come into play for Team Canada. That's, it was a perfectly placed rocket. Not many teams play that shot. They either try to get around or throw the corner, but that's a usable stone. Yeah. Speed was good here, Don? Yeah, normal. Boy. My apologies to Jill and husband to Devlin Hinchy. I said their uh, baby we name was Carmen. Pretty close. It's Clean Cameron. It. I apologize. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah. The spelling Lucky. was a little confusing, Vic. Uh, I was with you. Off, right oh. off, right off. T line. Right off. Really good. You can't. You can't. Off. 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 T line. Getting Have better. No, you can't. Still. Okay, well, with four foot. No. 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 Yep. 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 Good shot, Julie. Good job. Alberta, New Brunswick. That's a mess, <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you for linking the two. <laughs> well, Alberta lies too, and on that great shot, the shot stone made by Beth Iskew. Heather trying to find a way to score three, playing off her own, wants to cross it, and then hit it sideways into that pot. No. One for sure, two for sure, I guess it is, yeah. two. Thanks for uh, clearing clearing up that mess. <laughs> two for Albert, and they'll take the 3-2 uh, lead. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, lots of games on the ice here, uh, particularly on C and, and D, where you've got those teams, all of them, four of them at uh, two losses apiece. It's a big night for them to get above 500. Go, 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 go. Oh, that little bump, eh? that little double bump has just moved the Team Canada stone into shot position. So standings coming in, and uh, we'll pay attention more and more, of course, as this week goes on. But even here on this Monday night, the end of day three, BC, you know, a, a loss tonight would bring them back to a, you know, to one loss. Team Canada, Manitoba, one of those could go into first place. But it's those teams right there at that oh! 500 mark presently. They, tonight would give them. That little bit of a separation yes, already. As quickly as it was there, it's gone now. That's that ability that the uh, Jill officer brings to the team, isn't it? Okay. Well, the key is getting the one red one in the position in between the yellows, and then you can pound it. The one in the middle, the filling of the sandwich won't go, and the two slices of bread go out the door. Go, go. This has to curl. Okay. All right, Joe. Okay. Get this end turn around. Kind of think 
probably here. closer to Bumpy. Yeah. Like here, even. Okay. Or the They're guard. talking about it being a little bit too much weight, and you may say, but it misses by quite a bit. It's actually dramatic how much difference there is with that little bit different weight and a tiny bit outside. And there it goes. These blue hone insert rocks, the uh, insert that the rock actually runs on the ice surface is so hard. The more, that, like Linda says, the harder you throw it, the straighter it goes, but it's dramatic, isn't it? Good. You got Jolene it, would have not have played any of those to soften S shots on the surface. She'd love that Wait, one back. Too. Really needs to move. Shoot. Yep, 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 yep. Set yep, up a yep, triple yep. here. Oh. Sorry, Caitlin. Ashley? Sorry. Really? Don't think so. Huh? Uh, if it just bumped it enough. If she hit a little thinner, she would have uh, definitely set up a triple, but a nose hit will get the double. I'm so confused. Just. It's okay. A little bit of doubt from Caitlin. Sometimes you lose that feel even for a game and it's really frustrating because you feel like you're kicking out, you let go, you think, oh, good, and they're at sales and Clean. goes to the Nine. wrong place. Clean. Whoa. Clean. Whoa. 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 Get up a hair. Yeah. Good. 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 Now, it hasn't been a well-played in by Team Canada, but now that that yellow one's where it is, it's a dangerous rock. But remember this very first rock at the end. That could easily be raised in, and that might be the saver as this end progresses. It actually has a great angle onto those rocks in the forefoot. And what Jennifer's doing is guarding the situation in the middle, and you don't blame her. That yellow one is very accessible, but... You hate to be guarding when you know the opposition has a way to slash something in there. Line's good. We gotta go. Got a curl. Line's good. We for halfway. It's halfway for curl. Line, guys. Get a over curl. Hard. Just halfway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, yep, yep. 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 Hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good. 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 Tough decision. The uh, the yellow double would be the ideal shot, but it, it's a, it's not a simple double, especially with an angle raise. If you only get one of them, will you have a chance to get at that double buried rock? So this might make more sense. Run this back. Try to make a red double. Then you have some yellow rocks to use. Go, go, go. That's fine, Kim. So uh, peel off the center guard. Okay. I'm not going. Starting those interns. I don't know if I'm putting the turn on too early. Maybe. I didn't really know. Like, it's hard for me to tell that from down here, but. If we wick the hair, it's not bad. Um, okay, like, I'm even thinking, what if we tap this? It's not bad. Get to the inside of here. You just heard Kim say, Linda, that uh, she feels like she's putting the turn on too soon. That might allow you to roll over. No, that wasn't. That was fine. No, she holds the angle. When you start it too soon, you slowly start to turn the angle, and then you have to pop it at the end to get any release on it. She seems to be holding the angle right till release. So it's on the turn of the hand that she's actually going from outside in and rolling the hand a little bit. Run double buried. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's who you're playing to, like uh, Jones like, and um, Caitlin tap, definitely tap back up their intern. They throw it back really a little bit, line, allowed to run straight, and maybe that's fooling Kim a little bit too. Yeah. That was the wrong guard to hit. Caitlin was just heavy, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Really over Back four. No. 
Yeah. Uh, Ooh, I think they're gonna help out yeah. here. Hard. Roll it, Jilly. Oh wow. Good so, That was supposed to be a guard, was it not? I thought so. Didn't have enough ice to go around oh. anything. Yikes. Wait was actually not bad for the shot. I just need less ice, yeah. I think. So. Well, she must have been okay. trying to get to the inside she with was. soft weight. Sorry. Trying to move things Sorry. around. Sorry. Wait okay. was actually not bad. Re establish an angle. Heavy. A little bit. They're not bad. No. It would have been fine if we got to like to be inside. Sorry, that's awful. In the Manitoba playdowns, I thought Jennifer was sliding a little bit tight on the out turn. She's drifting a little left, and I, maybe that's what's happened here. She drifted a little tight. And then you have to correct. You have to throw the rock back to the broom by backing it up with this out turn that runs it back straighter, and uh, it just didn't finish for it all. What kind of weight, Amber? Ten. Okay. Let's go. The play here is what? I think they're just trying to get to the nose of that Vic or, or maybe roll towards the yellow one a little bit. I you can Whoa, hit the stone just thrown. Yeah, yeah, I think that's all she's got. Well, she could run the yeah, yellow into the yellow. You'd have to watch the angle to make sure you didn't just squirt it out. No, we're just going to get up a little. Okay. Fine. Shot stone still belongs to Manitoba without last rock here in this. Okay. Just one nothing yeah. lead. Just a hair back a bit. Yeah, eh? just a hair. That's the same comment I would have made with Jennifer's a hair back, and that's all that means is you're sliding a little tight or on the broom and force it out when you put the handle on it. And again, as we've talked before, it's hard to do that on this straight spot. Look at the ice Jennifer's taking, virtually zero. Hers run so much straighter than ours. Right. See if she can get her body out to the broom here. Sometimes you'll slide down the center line on this type of shot. A little firm. Oh. Oh. No, Jill. No. Oh, no, no. Close. No. Oh. Whoa. Anything on the hard down. Anything go. So that rollover covers off any option you might have thought about on the other okay. side. Yep. Get nine eight or something. Ten one. Yeah. The angles were never uh, helpful enough to raise that yellow one in that we talked about the opening rock. They just staggered the wrong way. Now she's uh, Amber Holland indicating she's just going to draw here. Would you consider playing a little in-off roll on that stone top edge of the? The eight foot. Okay. Yeah, that's there too, Vic. The other one is run that red uh, guard, go red, red onto the yellow. As long as you don't throw it too heavy, I don't think you can uh, hurt yourself. I don't think that yellow one's going very far. That might be an easier shot. Is the in off there for two if you threw it well enough? I don't think you can throw right. it that hard, Vic. Okay. It's close. Mine's good. That's a good point because this isn't any picnic either. Especially have they seen a line so different from Jennifer and other stones have come down. You need the weight. You also need to get to that button. All you need button. No, need e Campbell, Kalinchuk, no. need button is right. No, no, no. Need button no, no, no. is right there. One it is. Single point to tie it. We're 1-1. One, one. Midway through. The 2012 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by M&M Meat Shops. Hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. It's only a 1-1 game through five, but this is a key one. We watched this all last season, time after time, making big shots. This is tough. Out pretty wide, a little wee bit wider than they had been. With a skip sweeping. Absolutely perfect judgment. For the single point, he shot, brought to you by Scotty's Facial Tissue. Stylish designs for any room. Amber Hollins with Kathy. 
over a great shot on your final stone. Does it feel like a 1-1 game to you? <laughs> um, yeah, it does, actually. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, we've just been trying to get some offense going a little later in the ends. It just hasn't been working, so hence the blanks. But, yeah, had some good, good chances there in that end. What does it do to your team when you lose a player like Tammy for injury? Um, well, you know, it's obviously puts a little different dynamic into the team, but Jolene's been with us for three years, so we're pretty comfortable having her out on the ice, and she's been with us so long that it's, it's almost normal. Good luck. Thank you. Scoreboard says 1-1. Let's take a look at the numbers after five. Well, you would expect in a close scoring game, a low scoring game, the numbers are big, and they are by both teams. I think with the disruption of losing Tammy, you have to be impressed with those numbers you just saw from Amber Holland. 93%. It doesn't seem to matter what happens, what shots you throw at her. She has been the big story for Team Canada one more time. The numbers after five are brought to you by Tim Horton's Time for Tim's. It's time to talk with Coach Janet Arnott. Manitoba will have the last rock when play resumes in six. The 2012 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet? By Ford, official automotive partner of the Canadian Curling Association. And by World Financial Group, proud to be a sponsor of the Season of Champions. Your dreams, our strategies. Well, let's get you caught up now. It's busy, busy, busy here. All the games are getting to the fifth, and we'll start with Nova Scotia, B.C., 4-3. Nova Scotia leading. Final stone, Kelly Scott out of Kelowna. Kathy. Well, she needs a nose hit. Vic, a little bit on the inside wouldn't hurt, and it would be for the two. Well, she got the little rub. And still made the shot for two. And if she's not feeling very well, that makes her feel a little better. So it's 5 4 at the break, BC leading. So now over to Sheet C, Saskatchewan and Ontario. And it's uh, 5 to 1, Saskatchewan leading. Final rock on the way from Ontario's Tracy Horgan out of the Idlewild Golf and Country Club in Sudbury, Kathy. She needs to tap the stone back. They made a really good freeze, that yellow stone, but it is, in fact, the red stone right behind it that is shot. Move it, and they do get the inside roll as well. There's the two. They go to the break, and it's 5-3 Saskatchewan. Now, let's update you here, and we've got to keep a look on this because this is New Brunswick, and it appears they are sitting the two. They are. And the final stone is coming up here, thrown, of course, by their former skip, Andrea Kelly, now still throwing fourth stone. Rebecca Atkins is a skip. Now, watch on the right, Kathy. Well, yeah, a little bit of a slip oh, there oh, by oh, Jill. Oh. Now, did they burn that stone? It does not appear that she did. She hit the ice but kept her broom away from the rock and so it will be able to continue all right so now the question i'm not sure is her stone if it, whether it's more the leads brush of jody de sola because out comes heather nedowin and beth iskew they're talking about did you touch it she says no de sola says no as well now have a look no anybody touch that not there not there no did you no they didn't great camera work thank you very much put three on the board and it's five three new brunswick ahead of alberta as they go to the break and so now you are up to date in a one one tie our featured game on this monday night of the scotties here in red deer and here in six it's manitoba that will have the last rock playing the red stones Okay, Joe. No surprise that Manitoba has put up the corner guard. They want to get this game out of its current state of being close in a 1 1 score, and they want some rocks in play. Like this, I think. Yeah. Here. Sorry? 
Now often you'll see Jennifer actually play another draw in this case rather than play the hit, but it comes back off into the timing. Who is about to throw one for the player in the hack being Jill? Her specialty is the hit. It will just stick. <laughs> no reason to be too aggressive. They do have control of the yeah. game. They have hammer in a tie game, and that was a dangerous Same. rock. Same weight, or? Yep. Just threw that one soft. It's been the tendency for Jill this game, a little on the inside, getting over the top. Wee bit less weight than she normally throws. Ten. No. Yes. Ten and a half. Hard. Ten and a half. Hard. Yes. Hard. 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 Hard, hard, hard. Crossing right the line in a hurry hard. here. Okay. Okay, that's okay. fine. Uh, yeah, it would have been 10-2. Well, now yeah. you can ignore that. I'm not bad. She threw it better. Those are those little wee the mistakes, aren't they? The, the yeah. scorekeeper gives you a perfect 4-4, four four, but uh, now allows an offensive chance, low-risk shot. For Jill Officer, a chance to force and to make a mistake Line's here. a little tight. Hey, hey, hey little 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 heavy, whoa. T-line. No, you got to go. Okay, T-line on its own. Hey, whoa. I gotta go is just oh, that curl off the fine, line that they're worried the about. We're deep. Higher the better. I'm trying. Higher oh, the better. Trying, but still too long. And that uh, brushing will <laughs> take it Good deal. just in front of the T line. Covered though. We talked this afternoon about some brushing errors. They knew exactly where that rock was going. They said it was T line with no sweeping, yeah, and they yeah, swept nice. it a little bit to get it by the guard, got off, and that's where it stopped. That'll win a lot of championships if you can judge them that well. That's an interesting point if you have a camp and even competitive teams and you say to them when you call it a number or a position where this draw will land, is it with or without brushing? And you stump a lot of teams. You have to know that. What is that information actually conveying to the person in the house? Yeah, is it where it's going to go without any sweeping or is it where you think you can drag it to? We always went with the first, where, where it is now. Exactly. Campbell, Carolyn Chuck, by the guard. And down on top to no, 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 don't, doesn't look like it. Still shot stone belongs to Manitoba. Well, that's the difficulty of the big swing away from center. You're losing the circles as you continue to go. And even though they tried to hold it with brushing and maybe even tap it a little bit, you lose the line so quickly. Worst part for that is that there's an easy yellow tap. If there wasn't a red guard, they buried both those so well, it's going to be tough to tap that. Line's good. T line. I'm moving. There you go. go. Line's tight. Go, 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 go. Line's tight because the weight's not line, heavy. Guys, they really work on that to sit too. Officer and Ashton. Now Jones as well. Oh my goodness. Not a girl. Not more out of that stone than they may have deserved to get. Great, great yeah, brushing by the front end. And Don Askin with her usual 94% and brushes that end to end so well. It's an awkward one. Uh, the yellow raise is easy, but it's hard to stick it. Hitting the red one, it's half buried if you go around the yellows. Okay. It's probably the easiest way to do it. You have to get this pretty thin yeah. to <laughs> knock it into shot rock position. Clean. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. 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 Yep. yep. Hard. Kim Schneider. Whoa. Yes. Good. Howdy, girl. Runs it back. Loses the shooter, gets rid of one Manitoba nice stone to sit shot, nice edge of the floor. Nice Great nice aggressive nice. call there. Uh, Kim was worried about hitting it too thin, but nice that was call. almost impossible. And by calling it that early for Amber, she rolls that, sticks it, and, and rolls it over enough that now there will probably be a double. One more time for Officer and ask him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. There yeah. it is. Sorry, guys. Goodbye. All right. 
You can see it in Caitlin's hand, even though the brushers really struggle to hold those hits. She's just, she called it co coming over the top. You can yeah, see the hand roll a little bit as she applies the intern. Sorry. That's okay. Nice shooting. It's great. Mm. Nice draw. Thanks. Figured it'd be nice to be <laughs> It's so subtle. She has a beautiful delivery, very straight. There's a straighter arm. Now she bends the elbow and extends in. But look at the hand when she finishes and the angle of the fingers. A little bit outside in with that release. Outside in means curl. That's what you're going to get even in that Sorry, spot sorry. with these type of rocks. <laughs> Oops. Still a good shot. The really double has to be one, made. Right? The double, the yellow rock's uh, kind of in the way of making the double. So the yellow? Okay. Okay. Now you can nestle Hi up now. to your own okay. yellow and still be in a pretty Let's good go. spot. To your point, Linda, Caitlin's uh, intern hitting percentage is 10% lower than her outturn. That's quite a bit. I know it's early. Amber Holland, her Easy. first skip stones Never. here in the sixth of a 1-1 one, one tie. Yes. 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 Whoa. Whoa. One, whoa, whoa, whoa. and oh, right over in the corner. That's what Caps the, her own and yeah. sits shot for the moment. Yeah. That was so good to be perfect. And as I mentioned, the yellow one was in the way. If that yellow one wasn't there, you hit the red dead on, and that was perfect. And now this yellow yeah. is wide open. Maybe should have stayed on it a bit. Yeah. If you'd hit it a little bit differently, not yeah. quite so much curl. It's yellow. actually a little too thin. You hit the side of the yellow a little fatter. You would have actually nestled and stayed next to the yellow red. And without the bounce, it wouldn't have been so bad. Really bad break. Great throw again by Amber. Yeah, and a little curled up lip tells you a lot. The only fortunate thing, it's difficult to roll a long way away here. You might have to hit it almost dead on, and that will give one more chance for Team Canada. Beats good here, Jilly? Yep. Okay. Oh. 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 Good. Oh. 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 Surprising me. Uh, they thought that was going to clear the uh, their own red rock there and, uh, and just I tried we, to. I thought we weren't going to kiss it. Yeah, there's. Oh, I yeah. We were okay. Wow. Leaves the uh, one stone at the back too, just biting that Team Canada Surprise stone. Didn't touch that. Sorry. Well, no, I knew it like, was my fault. I knew it was going to touch it, but I didn't think it was going to hit it that hard. Right. Yeah. No, you really had to let it I curl past that guard. You know, surprise those oh, kinds gosh. of mistakes you don't often see from Caitlin and Jennifer. Sorry. Nice break for Amber Holland. Yeah, the force is on here. If she can yeah, stick it. it, certainly won't be a double if she does stick it. Oh, crappy. Uh -oh. That <laughs> wasn't very good. Uh, checking yep. in now, Saskatchewan oh, and Ontario. Yep. And uh, it looks like Saskatchewan oh, might get a couple here, Kathy, as we watch the yep, yep. final stone there of uh, Amber okay. Holland. There it is. Well, for sure, she does have the hit on Tracy Horgan's first. She tried to roll behind the guard that was in play, wasn't able to do it. Michelle did a great job of rolling to the wings. That's the stone replaced by Tracy Horgan. So it is a wide open deuce potential if she can stick it. And it will hang on for two Saskatchewan. And a 7-3 lead and a smile yeah. from okay. Michelle Engler. go once again officer and ask it able to oh, 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 oh Jill yeah I'm fine and burned it just foot 
She's coming over the hog line, her back uh, foot when she was gliding, uh, push gliding, uh, hit the corner guard. She didn't see it in her peripheral. So now we'll have a look here. There, touches the guard, goes down and touches the stone. And by it goes. And so it will be two for Team Canada. Watch the direction of the stone. Unlike before, that little kiss as it goes by. Jill appears to be okay, thankfully. Disappointed, certainly. Team Canada picks up a steal of two on the burned rock. The Scotty's Tournament of Hearts trophy, of course, will go to the winning team of this year's Scotty's on uh, Sunday. And in Hollywood, they're going to hand out a different kind of trophy. Their statues or statuettes. The Oscar as Billy Crystal returns to host the 84th Academy Awards ceremony Sunday at 8 p.m. on CTV. One of the many statues you'll find out through downtown Red Deer, they are, they are the ghosts of Red Deer. Welcome back on this Monday night to our continuing coverage of the 2012 Scotties, the Canadian Women's Curling Championship. Unfortunate with a Jill Officer stumbling over the guard, burning the stone, results in a steal of two for Team Canada. They lead 3-1 as we go to the seventh. Once again, Manitoba will have the last rock playing the red stone. It's just a strange kind of night. Uh, first of all, Tammy Schneider injuring herself, leaving the game, Jolene Campbell coming in. Then you have the slip. Even right before that, the mistake on the line call by Caitlin and Jennifer, just so different tonight. You just finished saying that you had to hit it dead on. You couldn't really roll anywhere, and uh, they tried to roll, and uh, it just was not possible. And, mm. yeah, well, no it, is it a full moon or something up there? <laughs> no. And, I, and it, this was a trip. This, was, this wasn't... Oh, Sometimes no. we talk about ice being a little greasy. No. This was a straight trip. Just yes. her foot, her, just as she oh, transferred her weight to her front foot, she caught that guard, and uh, oh, that's all it takes. Is lucky. Uh, hopefully she's fine. She so felt pretty hard. Like, I think there may be a few bruises, but fortunately I don't think that'll be an injury type fall. That's why I said that. Yeah, I know. You got it, Jilly. You see uh, Jill changing rocks for this specific shot. Uh, she probably has one that cuts more than another. And in the women's game, no one uh, brushes as hard as uh, a few brushes hard as Jill Officer. Well, she is a great brusher. She's obviously very upset. And she'll have to park that in order to throw these shots. This is only a two-point difference in the game. No, it's got to curl. And it's certainly early enough to make a comeback. No, it can't be that heavy. Oh, then it. No, clean. Line's perfect here. They just don't want it too deep. Coming out. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Now that's a great recovery to throw that beautiful draw. Here we go, Nine. Okay. Now is Amber curled with Jolene enough to know the release, know the speed that's going to come out here, the amount of rotation. Clean. Well, the image they've been that's together, clean. as she said, she's been the yes. fifth player for Whoa. for three Whoa. years since Whoa. their first Scotty's Whoa. appearance in 10. So in practice, Good I'm day. sure they would oh, see it and they'd see it on the tour because she skips her own team on the tour. That's true, but you, you know, you're holding the broom. You have to get it, you know, a shot like that. You're half an inch wide, you miss it. And uh, what are the tendencies? Do you float that spot? Do you overthrow it? And uh, obviously they knew what they were doing. Good shot. Yeah. yeah. I'm a firm believer you have to play together for a long, long period of time, whether it's practice rocks or games, to, to really know the tendencies of each player. And even when you play different kinds of ice and with different stones, tendencies show up differently. If it's a straight spot and you throw the rock with a straight turn, then it's going to really show up. Just a little tap. Trying to nestle in front of those yellows. Nice try, Joey. Wait, it was good. But it was nice. Let's go, hey? Love to roll away. You want to stay in the rings to eventually ah. force T uh, Manitoba oh. to uh, 
take their single because you hit it dead on you're clustering them too close together and they'll find their way in there to for a freeze Kim Schneider. She wasn't happy with the slide, and I think that was a correction okay, on the Cam, throw. Okay, Cameron, that's fine. It's okay. That's one of the hardest things to do as a player. If you slide a little bit offline, you often throw a fix, and a fix has quite a different release to it. Often you're better just to let it go straight an inch off and actually in out or out in it yeah. to fix it. It's like oversteering a car, isn't yeah. it? It's, just, it's the same thing. You slide tight, you whip it back, but you throw it back too far and it just keeps falling. Caitlin Laws. Wait up. Well then. Through, just through. Half almost. Two point deficit Half. for this uh, Manitoba Clean. team is not very much. Clean. They can score a lot Whoa. of points in the course of a 10 in game. Whoa. And enough to spill one out of the back. That's the, this is the situation that I find difficult Sorry, you know, as, a, as a club you. curler. Uh, hey. For at the elite level for Jennifer Jones to ignore those stones center line for as long as she did to play around the corner. And now with Caitlin's first, she goes after them. And that's whoa, whoa, whoa. And it's the patience that Jennifer always shows. And I think that uh, does take a little bit of stomach, a little bit of nerve, but she does it every time. Okay, I know you're rolling out regardless. Yes. Just, okay. Like, uh, clean it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, over on sheet D, uh, Kathy Gauthier, one, two, uh, maybe sitting three, New Brunswick. So this is a big shot for Alberta and Heather Nedewin. Well, it certainly is. And Heather had a great chance on her first one, Vic. Oh, yes. Andrea Kelly, a tick to guard, was already lying yes. one. Had a chance to draw two, yes. came short. And then Andrea got rid of that Alberta stone. So this oh, is a draw yes. against yes. three. Boys are going to get by that top stone. They want to avoid the rub. Oh, very nice. Great brushing. Laney Peters, Jessica Mayer for the single. They're down by one. New Brunswick will have last drop. So here's the payoff, Vic. If you ignore things and finally get that center cleared up a little bit, you can use the corner guard you put out there for this very purpose. Beautiful throw. Great come around. Nice speed control. <laughs> I thought you said room at one. Yeah, point. I did. Good news is she makes it and it's not corner frozen. We have the double. Nice shot, Caitlin. Okay. Ideally, Amber would like to put it right on the corner so that if you try to hit the yellow and come across, make the piece double, on the other it would side. jam on the red. That's a very, very small piece What's of real that? estate she's Could aiming you at. See a piece on the other side. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. It's a four here, Amber. Okay. So let's go. Just a little adjustment of the glasses. Same little habits each time. Finds a little tight. So many. Oh, it doesn't matter what happens. Right pitchers do it too. Good. Quirky little Mine's things that you do. We are bouncing. Uh, not even okay. yeah, a little bounce. Late finish. Slips to the back of the uh, back edge of the four foot to sit two for the moment. Remembering now that Manitoba does have the last rock. That's not bad. Do you like that? That's really tight. Yeah, I need less, so I thought I'd give you a little 14. No, I think 13.9. Like bumper? The only other thing is we freeze here. I don't mind but then she ever plays that tap, and we've got nothing, nothing. to get to. Right. You know, and we can't really roll off that two, so, okay. Okay. So are you trying to roll dead buried? Yeah. Okay. Good call here. There's a million options. You could try the double and with soft weight and hang around. You don't have to move that back yellow very far. You could hit and roll off the top one in, in front and uh, to create a tough <laughs> shot. You could freeze to this back yellow. That's the neat part about the sport. There's more than one way. Bumper. Linda, I just want to go back to the conversation that Amber had with Heather Kalinchuk. Is that a difference in or trying to find out the brushing 
from the brusher standpoint, did you not give me the information, or was Amber trying to find out whether, in fact, her call was right? She thought maybe the information was given to her incorrectly, and I'm so wondering because I timed it a lot faster than they said, Vic. Boy, it's diving really at that hard. corner, diving at it. And they'll get the one back. Edge of the four to sit shot stone. Fooled again inside out, Linda, because they were yelling, whoa, all the way down. Yeah. Halfway down, it started to break, and they couldn't hold it. That was supposed to be a roll behind the yellow to try and get a mistake from Amber. I like the call, a roll behind, because then Amber that almost pick? has to play the no, run back. If she so. ever misses it, she gives it up three. finishes from the hog line in. Oh, I was just playing halfway. Like, it was still, like, completely I was firm, on the if anything. Line. Yeah, at 10 seconds. Yeah. I didn't think. I was thinking even if we overroll, she probably hits the open one, right? Like. Yeah, no, I agree. I just, I never imagined that that would finish like that. There you go. towards the Green. second red, if you could. Good, good. She won't, she'll sit there. Now, is there a double there to score two? Yeah. Well, for me, yeah, I, I doubt it. Uh, you'd have to hit throw a soft weight to save that your shooter. That goes into that, doesn't and it? And the uh, yellow that Amber yeah. just threw might tick that red one. This is too thin, I think. Yeah, I agree. Could play it with the out turn and just play it with quiet weight. And if it over curls. Do you know what I mean? Oh, like to, just for the one or whatever? Yeah, but yeah. I mean, if we play it tight to that two, I think, think it's pretty hard to. Do you think our shooter can even kiss that up? I don't know. Two? I don't think so. I'm just saying play it off that first. Yeah. I think if our shooter's here, he might. But. I think this is too hard, don't you? It's quite tough, yeah. I don't think we want to give up a steal no, here. I so agree. just a 10. Kay. I threw this uh, in five. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. Caitlin asked the question. I'll ask it too. If you bounce, if you hit that yellow stone and bounce back, could you move that stone back up off the forefoot? Yeah, that's what they're looking at. You probably could. Like if you threw it a million miles an hour, hit it just on the inside of the rock you're aiming at now, your shooter rolls towards the button. If there's not enough Ten. space for a rock to go through there, you could kick the we'll top yellow okay. back a little bit. Just this basic type of thing here. If you come straight down uh, this way, hit it like that, and just move this yellow over just a little wee bit, your rock would, would move it in maybe in that way and get the red to stay. But if there's too big an opening there between the two yellows and you hit it exactly in the wrong spot, it's a steal of one. The other way here, you could feather the top one, Linda. That's what they were talking about with quiet weight. The only part I don't like about it is they were basically saying, well, try for the nose and maybe feather. That's tricky. Wow, out of her hand. They have picked her up now. They're going to try to save this and may catch the top one first. May get the top one first and over the top. It's a steal of one more for Team Canada. I thought I was going to make that. Sorry, guys. Let's go. Okay, score. It makes you want to rub your eyes. Something just isn't right. The colors on the screen seem a little off, but don't adjust your set. That really isn't Jennifer Jones wearing the red and white, but Amber Holland. You see, for the first time since 2008, the team from Winnipeg is wearing the Manitoba colors of yellow and black. And seeing them dressed in anything else but the maple leaf seems a little strange. This is Jennifer Jones 113th game in her career at the Scotties. 55 times almost half those games she's played at this event. She stepped onto the ice wearing the red and white of Team Canada. A true testament to her dominance. Four wins in the last seven years. Now though it's Amber Holland's turn to carry the Canada coat and they aren't about to give the jackets off their back very easily. You see, although they are very proud to be from Saskatchewan, they'd rather not wear the green and white anytime soon.
from black and white to full color. That's our coverage here of the 2012 Scotties Red Deer. And a steal of one in the seventh is a 4-1 lead for the defending champions wearing the red and white. Amber Holland and Manitoba wearing the yellow and black. We'll have the last rock here in eight playing the red stones. Is that the slight of shame? <laughs> Linda? This is a very strange game <laughs> where we have to say we've already mentioned the injury to fall by Jill to trip and burn the stone and that's why there was a steal in the sixth end. Last end I found the conversation on Jennifer's last really confusing and now this end Amber Holland called the first one in it stopped short corner guard goes up Amber tried to peel her own guard which you can do to get rid of that thing. And it was a flash on that peel. So there's a chance for Jennifer to come around that front stone. Now earlier, Russ, you were talking about Jennifer's delivery. You had seen it at the Manitoba Playdowns. Do you think there's something here in the seventh? Yeah, obviously one of the best players uh, in the ladies game today. Uh, to watch her sliding foot. Still on the line, still on the line, still on the line, still on the line. She doesn't get out to the broom. The broom was a good foot outside the line. And she's just sliding, drifting a hair left. And, you know, hair left at release, you multiply it by five in the distance you're throwing it, you're going to be quite a bit narrow in those outturns. Your outturn percentage and draw weight is 61%. And that one caught her there also. Just did not get to the broom. So it's just been mistake after one. mistake for Amber's team. And she probably could have let that come up a little bit and tried to get a piece of that red one on the way by, but nothing going right for them. Now a chance for Jennifer to sink one. We've got a couple of uh, stones not quite overlapped. Jill Officer. Line's good. Okay, T line. We're heavy right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We may sound critical about that first one coming short, but that was one thing as a skip I really could not tolerate. There is no excuse for something coming short when you're up three. Especially in this type of ice, Linda, sorry to cut you off. If you, if you have to go back eight, that's not good either, but how do you freeze perfectly in this ice? And even if you do, you can jam it out of there it's so quick. I'd rather be catching it on the way through than have it drop short. Okay, officer goes back eight. So it's up to Jolene to try and get this situation back on track. A little hit and roll. Clean. Nine seven. Yep. Yep. Hard. 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 No. 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 Okay. I got ten two. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Wonderful opportunity now for the Jones okay. team. Right. Sink another one. And this one stopping T line in the eight foot. Another update. Wow. Look at this. Saskatchewan one, two, three, four, five. Sitting five and up seven, three. Final stone on the way. Kathy from Sudbury, Ontario's Tracy Horgan. Well, she tried to freeze on the first one, Vic, and went right through without any sweeping. Wasn't really close on draw weight at all. But boy, oh boy, she sure needs it here. First time at the Scotties for this young team out of the Idlewild Golf and Country Club. Boy, one, two, and certainly three. Ten, three. That's it. And Michelle Englot will pick up the win, make the final 10 3. Now 3 and 2, Ontario Falls to 2 and 3. Notice there at the end of the game, the teams are doing an elbow or fist mm. bump. They don't want to shake hands because of all the flu going around. I think it's a very smart thing. 
good sportsmanship to acknowledge Four the good win, but you don't have to shake hands. Really tight right now. Oh. Oh, the, nice three, the three of us are up here <laughs> in saran wrap, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Hermetically sealed. The cone of silence around good. Yes. Okay, go then. Need four feet for the line. <laughs> Nice shot by Kim Schneider to get those two front stones away from the two red rocks. It's a tough situation for Amber. Do you peel the guard and allow uh, Manitoba to probably sit three eventually here, or do you draw in there? If you don't make the draw well, you can give up more than three. So I think they're going to hope to make a peel here uh, to peel this off, make a double with the next one, and uh, limit the damage to maybe a deuce. You could get around with the uh, other turn with a soft weight and tap out that second oh. shot rock. Clean. No, no, no. Clean's fine. Good. Good. I don't think. Nice shot. Good shot. Is that it, girl? I think the same thing. Over on sheet D, Alberta sitting one, Kathy, top edge of the. Uh, 12 foot final stone on the way New Brunswick and Andrea Kelly well on a bit of a disappointment she was set up Andrea was all end to score deuce oh. trying to roll this one out of blank <laughs> and rolls across the top to pick up a single to lead 6-4 over Alberta and those teams coming in both two and two Over and up. Keep the. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah,
as they play in the eighth Nova Scotia scoring two and seven Heather Smith Dacey of Halifax yeah. whoa, Kelly Scott whoa, whoa, from Kelowna no. final stone on the way no. from Team Canada Amber Holland all on its own now got to come up for her needs to come up for her and she'll do enough to get rid of one. Okay. That's Back fine. a little bit. Yeah. No, not really that was bad. not the best okay. release. No, just backwards a little bit. And again, the uh, little inside cool, out in a straight spot's bad Pardon? combination. Yeah. yeah, you did. It's a tough shot. Look, Linda, like she just popped yeah, it at the end, eh? It's curious, though. She just, just threw the same thing, really. Yeah, well, sometimes it gets in your head, though, that it's it looks so straight, so little ice. So a chance for two for Jennifer Jones, Just Manitoba, out of the St. Vital Curling Club in Winnipeg. Good. There's no guards in the <laughs> <laughs> There you go, oh, Jill. Jill. <laughs> Jill officer saying, not going to trip this time, Skipper. So Manitoba gets the two back here in eight that they gave up on the burn stone. It's the steel that's the difference. It's time now for the M&M &M Meat Chops Final End Challenge. Right after the game, please go to finalend.ca and enter the secret word for a chance to win a trip for two to see the 2013 World Junior Curling Championship in Sochi, Russia. The first 100 entries will have a chance to win a $50 M&M gift card, and all participants will get an M&M discount. We'll give you the secret word shortly. First, let's update you on what's happening between Nova Scotia and BC. And a chance here for British Columbia trying to make it five straight wins, Kathy, if they can win this and a double here. Well, it's really interesting. In the second half of the game, Kelly has not been sitting down as much, so hopefully she's feeling a lot better. Made a double on her first and a chance for two if she can make a double on her second. the way to do it the two-time Canadian champion picks up two to lead seven six Nova Scotia and Heather Smith Daisy trying to win the second on this uh, Monday after losing their first three she'll be on the ice Tuesday morning Kathy you and Brian Mudrick will have this game against Jennifer Jones and at the moment both teams are uh, behind on the scoreboard Manitoba does pick up two. Team Canada leads 4-3. And here in nine, it will be the defending champions, Team Canada, Amber Holland, that do have the last rock playing the Yellow Stones. Go, 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 go. Good. There's four of the best starts to uh, an end you'll ever see. Don Askins absolutely perfect with both lined up, two guards, yeah, trying to force the issue, and two great come-arounds by Heather. Heather's had a great week so far. It's so easy at this part of the game to pump it up a little bit, get kind of excited for one of those draws by Team Canada behind the T-line, and then you're really in trouble. Oh, yeah. Wait only. A couple ways to play it when you're ahead and with hammers, go, you can tick the guards, but uh, sometimes a, a good defense is a great offense, and that's exactly what Team Canada is trying to do, oh, force Jill God, Officer really to make hard. a mistake. Short, really hard. Full 12. Just come up light a lot off, uh, today, and it's more so with that rock. Hard, hard, hard. Okay, Joe. Been a light, little light on hits too, and that makes me wonder if she's just not feeling just the same the energy mm -hmm. tonight. So? Not feeling no. that kick from the hack, thinking she's sliding out fast so enough, and she it. really isn't. Sorry, I just kind of. Clean, clean. Good. Nice throw, Joe. Good, Joe. Team Canada with top last rock. Center one back. And sitting Center two, back. top button, top four. Start it back. Go on, tap it back. Want to come here? 
got lots of time. Almost like tapping the other one, maybe. I don't even mind throwing hit weight at it. You don't mind throwing hit weight at it? Yeah. I knew it would force it's okay. Yeah, anyway. that's true. Well, I think it leaves an easy double peel, but I know. But at least uh, we can't really we'll just be in the eight, but we tap the two or no? Yeah. If we could tap the two, you, but then it's she still rips this, right? Yeah. I guess we do it, try to tap that seven straight back and just try to move these around and then at least but we'll call it time out. It? Sure. Okay, timeout is being called and uh, again we'll remind you teams are giving given 71 minutes to play their game. They're also given like two 90 around? second like timeouts. And that guard. means that uh, Manitoba coach Janet Arnott will make her way down to the ice. And as she makes her way down here, the game plan, Linda, you're Manitoba, you're down by one. You don't want to give up the blank, it would seem to me. Is the force on here? Is that what the Manitoba team would like to see here? Yeah, I think you're into steel or aggressive force, and that's the discussion. How are you going to accomplish that with the way this end has started? There was one moment where they mentioned a run back, so that's takeout weight, and if you are trying to keep rocks in play, I think the tap is the better option. And you do want to keep rocks in play, yeah. I don't think, like, I don't think we're gonna, they'll still probably lie too. Or we try the run back. Stick it. Well, we gotta stick it, I'm almost thinking at, at nine and a half. I think we gotta throw the run back on the seven, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think I Either that or you tap, like, the only other shot is tap. You could freeze here. Like, you can get there, but I don't know if that gets us much. Yeah. See, if we tap them, they rip the guards, like, and then we're, like, I don't know. No, I know, yeah. Do you like the run back? Do you like that? Yep. Which outer in? Probably I think the out looks more natural to me, but sure. it's Sure, yeah, I'm good with the out. Okay. On the Nine middle and a half. On Nine the middle one? Yeah. So Eight. Janet Nine made her uh, decision and said she preferred the run back. If you do play this and you're playing things with weights, you're going to have to accept that the blank is brought more into play. Janet Arnott, of course, the former Canadian champion, Canadian along with Kathy Gochu. Honey Lala back in 1995 and again in 92. This is a decent call if you make it. If you, uh, for instance, high side miss all the yellows, you probably can't steal this in and you, you might not be able to force to one. I'd be tempted to just bump it back a little bit. Lots of time yet. It's only the second stone's last rock. If you make this perfect, and Jill makes a ton of them. Well, that's what I was just going to say. You might play to the strength of the person throwing, correct? Yeah! For sure. You do, Vic, but you do have to stick to your plan, too. So you have to accept, as I mentioned, you're limiting rocks in play. And they'll chip off the top stone. Shot rocks still there. Quiet? Top of the button belongs to Team Canada. I guess the interesting part about the discussion by Manitoba was they assumed that the guards would be ripped off and they wouldn't have like a chance that? to use them. Well, it's not all that yeah. easy to get rid of those two guards. The only, the only safe way would be to Other tick the top here. one and Just redirect your rock onto the other red, like almost hitting a split there. and Not a lot yeah, of danger if you throw it well. Whichever. <laughs> I, I don't mind that, but yeah, I think I like that. Yeah, let's go. That's top eight. Um, so top 12. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Let's go. So try to put a stone between the shot rock and a run back. Exactly. Yeah, and try to protect that shot rock. Tough spot. It's not easy. Obviously, you have to bury within a Better two or three room. foot oh, area, and you do not want to be behind Seven. that T line. Room. Six in a row. Five. Room. Oh, stay close now. Line's good. Line's good. Line's great, all you. Line's Line's all me. We're two hours. Not quite. Line's Not good. quite. Not quite. Yeah, we're right two hours. Right beside. Set. 
Okay. Uh, okay, right Joe. to it, indeed. Right down on the corner. Just didn't finish. The other option that Amber Holland suggested was let's go to the open side. We'll put it in the eight foot exactly where that uh, brush head is. Would you prefer to do that? I think uh, at this stage, Jennifer probably would have ignored that one, so I'm not sure if that would have been successful. Back to the theory, if you're not sure, what did Jennifer want you to do? Did Jennifer want you to leave those two valuable red ones out there? I, I think I might have made a play on both reds. No Caitlin Laws. Off, off, off. Trying. Right off. Got to curl a mile. It's trying. Okay. And it'll sit down in the corner. Caitlin. Great wait. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Nice wait. Mm -hmm. Thanks. We knew that. Jennifer Jones wants to yeah. talk with her third, calling her down. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, was it close? It's getting so much straighter. Yeah. Wait, was nice. Getting so much straighter than it was. Yeah. Like I gave you middle of the eight for that, and it didn't curl at all. Kim Schneider, you agree? It's getting straighter? Yeah, it usually does in arena ice, and uh, not every night. It depends on the crowds and the humidity and everything. There's all kinds of factors, but yes, I do. I think it is getting a lot straighter. Jolene's looked perfect, and it didn't finish at the end, and neither did Caitlin's. But once it gets new center, it will go. Now they're just going to play the rub, and it's light. Okay. Okay. Interesting. This game has been very slow, Kathy. 6-4, uh, New Brunswick leading, and a, a double here for a possible two for Alberta. For sure. Heather had a great chance on her first to draw down to the shot. Stone was short. Now needs this big net. Calls right off. Oh, and she stuffed it. Stuffed it. Overswept it in the straight side again. That was for three, possibly. I think so. And on top of that, you talked about the slowness. Both teams having clock troubles. That's going to be a factor with two ends to go as well. And Beth Iskew very upset, likely with uh, either the brushing or her line call. So it's a steal of one, 7 4, New Brunswick. And a reminder that yeah, that's that's right. New Brunswick team is who you will see tomorrow, Kathy, as they play Nova Scotia, 10 30 Eastern time. So Amber's choice to keep it a little cluttered and play around that middle and now one coming short big trouble. Yeah they're yeah they're stacked on top of each other there's no raise opportunity and there's one of those red ones that was ignored. Yeah. Caitlin Laws. Oh. And okay. she'll pick off the backstone. My apologies, uh, Kathy. Don't okay, don't Good prepare for rushing. New Brunswick. Get ready for Manitoba <laughs> against Nova Scotia. Okay. Nice try. Sorry. I think Kathy would have checked that one, Nick. Yeah. What if? Uh, what if you I'm sure. <laughs> you think we all listen to you? <laughs> <laughs> ah, thanks, Linda. Pulling down the cone of silence. Yes. <laughs> Away you go again. New, New Brunswick starting to show some signs of life, though. They, uh, they played a lot of the top teams, and they're with a three-point lead here. They're in pretty safe to go three and two. Even just roll your shooter. Might even get the other one on. Just hit and roll on our yellow. Yeah, okay. I don't mind that shot you called either, but... Well, we got to be... we got to get there. Yeah, yeah. Sitting out here is not good. I think it'll finish, though. I don't, yes. I don't mind the double feel. I mean, that makes sure we know our shot for one, right? But if we come around here this way, can we get second? And then what? You'd have to play it really close to that. Just yeah. probably tap, tap, little Done. quiet, hey? Yeah. And then, yeah. What are you thinking? Well, make the in the freeze I'll, perfect. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. It feels really good if you can get that yellow one in. I think it's nice going to I'm just through that freeze, too. Where are you thinking of hitting? Yeah, yeah you might. Just in there. Oh. Just off now. Be yeah, close. You can even roll your shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, Half. I like it. Half, and you think the five will roll on? Uh, no, I'm taking a little thicker. 
The dangerous Keep rock right now is, is this one right line. here, that red rock. Obviously, uh, Team uh, 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 okay. Manitoba, sorry, yeah, like can tap it. that in and sit the deuce, and one will be undercover. So and I think you're almost better to protect that somehow, whether like you, if you, like, if if you, you like this, I don't get it there, great. If you can get it there, not so bad. But that would then leave this shot for Jones. But it's not an easy shot because you can only yeah. see part of that yellow one. I guess the interesting thing for me as we follow through the strategy of teams is we do get a little bit of second guessing and thus switching. Mm. So you've made a decision that you're going to try and play some draws, not clear the front, try to keep it so that your rock is protected and all of a sudden the big switch. I understand Nine, it, but right? sometimes I get yeah. concerned that it's just almost like panic as opposed to recognizing the sequence that you want the shots to have. Straight again. Roll it hard. Okay, that's fine. Okay, it's fine. Hmm. That's fine, okay. Kim. Good throw. Half of the hair. Yeah. Do you like that? Do you know what I mean? Just T line? Yeah. I don't think this is really yeah. straight here yeah, now. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Speed's still good, Jen. Great situation for Manitoba. They can either freeze here. Yes, Amber would still be shot rock, but you have all kinds of opportunities to change that around breeze, with your last ideally, shot. Ideally, I'd like to tap it. Um, yeah. If you tap it, you'll probably roll open. Okay. That's okay, the yeah. worst part, because you might set or up a red double. Even. Like, ideally, we, yeah, I'll try to throw kind of weight there on its own, but okay. Let's go, you got it. this is quite straight. Yeah. So the reason she this. might like to tap it is then to be able to get at that mm -hmm. shot rock in one way, shape, or form, or free up hers to move up. But you're right, with it being a little straight and adding any weight, this is going to be tricky to make any tap. Jennifer Jones. Back house. Back Her 12. first skip stones here in the ninth. No. Close. Oh. Heavy. No. Off. Oh. Oh. Back off. Oh. Off. Oh. Wow, this is no. uh, got to move and move in a hurry. There's that little tap to get the separation. Okay. Team Canada remains shot stone. Yeah. I thought that was an interesting anymore. comment. She said, yeah. if I heard it correctly, I think I'm going to try and like get it there on my own. Mm -hmm. As yeah, if to say, I'm second. taking you out of the equation, the front end, the brushes. Well, I think it was just the description of the fact she wanted to move that rock a little bit. So it's not just a cold draw. It did have a little bit of oomph behind it. I know she was worried about curl of Vic, and I think that, you know, if you throw it there on your own, you don't have any brushing, which could straighten it out. And that's what she was trying to make it by herself. And then uh, you see what happens sometimes when you do that, that little extra, and it just is not curling there right now. The good news for Jones is they pump that yellow out in the open. It's not a big opening, but it is available. So Amber's going to try to roll Barry. Sit two. Little hole plus the run back on that side is available. Talk about challenging shots. This has been one of the most challenging so far to get a roll on this outside in turn. No, no. No, right off. Campbell, Kalanjuk, nothing. Anything? Okay. They no. just don't uh, cut down the ice. If no. you really want to roll, you actually have to be looking at that and cutting the ice way okay. down. Way and down. you're playing outside in. Could you? Like well, we know. Probably not. Eh? It will cut it is. inside out. Weight? But would you yeah, be better to play it with the the inter? Yeah, you probably. In this case, you know, you probably are, Vic. It's 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 just it's it's a mindset. They're not believing their eyes really, and and it's hard to get that roll. You you, you hate to take like zero ice because you always are feel things are going to curl but you're right uh, most people miss high side on most of the shots so if you go up the other turn you can control it with the brushing and if you do miss high side you roll to the middle almost the same weight i think but I'll, like a little less is okay like i don't mind trying to tap it till i two i think that's a tough hole yeah jennifer's okay. saying the double wasn't there and it is there's no question it's there you hit uh, half a rocket she's worried about smudging off her own and that is also possible but you hit it in the perfect spot as we just had a great camera angle there it will go but instead playing the same shot playing the tap no no no, no then off 
Good judge was immediately just to stay yeah, off it. Too late, too late, it's too late. And I think they should have been thinking, Rob, yeah. a little sooner. Oh, this is just and very gone. heavy. And gone. That was a lot more weight than intended. Your T-line would have worked there. You so know, look at that. My read Noses tonight good. of this Manitoba For team, sure, the, right? the burned rock yeah, aside, they haven't been as sharp as we've come yeah, to expect. Exactly. No question about it. Uh, Jennifer, especially, she's been top of the heap with the stats uh, virtually every game and uh, four or five percent better than any skip. So it's a bit of a shock. Yes. This is a dangerous call. I was going to say, decision <laughs> time. This is a run back for three, but you're sitting one. Yeah, yeah that was good. Could be that a run back for minus one. Mm -hmm. But it's tough to get two any other way. We know it's straight here. Run it back. Nine. Stick it no, no, for three. No. And maybe the game. Going to come up for her. Final stone. Going to come up for her. Final stone. Going to come up for her. You bet it does. <laughs> what a great shot. Team Canada gets three. <laughs> the 2012 Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Scotties, proud supporter of women's curling for over 30 years. The 2012 Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Ford, official automotive partner of the Canadian Curling Association. By M&M Meat Shops, hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. And by Tim Horton's new lattes made with premium espresso. Time now for the M&M Meat Shops Final End Challenge. Right after the game, we want you to go to finalend.ca. The secret word is heavy. Enter that secret word for a chance to win a trip for two to see the 2013 World Junior Curling Championships in Sochi, Russia. Jennifer Jones had left the ice surface before the final shot, and when she returns, she's decided to shake hands. And so it goes into the book, make the final. Team Canada wins it 7-3. The defending champions are now 4-1. Manitoba lose two in a row after winning their opening three. Three and two for them. So here's the game story. First half of the game wide open, tied at one. And then in six, Jill Officer unfortunately falls, trips, burns the rock, and thus the steal for Team Canada. But it was perfect execution by Amber Holland in nine. The run back for three, and that's the game. The game story brought to you by M&M Meat Shops. Hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. So we're going to now take you over to the game between Nova Scotia and British Columbia as they play in the 10th 7-6 and they've called a timeout coach Jerry Richard is here now right to the other side of the centrium and uh, Kathy Gauthier it is 7-4 and it is Alberta sitting one and uh, what's she going to play here straight draw She's playing, playing down, down to it with that sort of bump back okay. weight. They don't want right. to futz around with it. Uh, she made a great shot on her first, but Andrea Kelly made a double on her final stone. Uh -oh. This is big weight. Wow. My goodness. And she's going to lose the shooter. Score only the single. And now it's a 7-5 game, and New Brunswick will have the last rock coming home. Well, Alberta at two and two, New Brunswick at two and two. Now back to uh, this game on sheet A with BC leading. 
Nova Scotia made a nice job in nine of keeping it open so they could blank it, and they did get the corner guard up, and they did get one behind the corner guard, but Nova Scotia have just missed that yellow rock. Rock went right through the hole. Jerry Richard comes out, and BC's decision now is to hit that red one at the back of the house yeah. and try and save that yellow in behind the corner. And do it with Daylene Sivertson. just enough to hold it to catch the corner and this a bc team uh, affected by people uh, the flu okay. going around there have been several the same ice, just less weight. players yeah. who are right. suffering from it most notably bc's uh, third sasha carter you could just play down to the face of this uh, freeze down it would cause all kinds of problems tapping it out and sitting two works also but can't miss it wide like they did last time Playing Place third better. stones. Right. Close. Yep. 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 Whoa. Yep. Yes. Yes. Chris Comstock. Carry late. Oh, a little rub. Not quite. Couldn't hold it. Mm. Oh, you down here. Is that me? <sighs> Sorry, guys. Time. We got Just a hair starts like, sweeping that a hair right? sooner. It's perfect. Good try. I like that. Or here. As opposed to maybe coming here. That's not bad either. I don't like do coming like that way because she can use it. Yep. So we, we, anywhere in here, we're out counting that red. I think, hey? Yep. There? There? Get a, do you like this? I and like you know, giving her this, and then we've got the we've run. Got two taps to work with on my last. Yeah. Right, if it comes yeah. up and bounces. Yeah. Yeah. My first thought was where they Okay, so I like that. So the discussion of the hack end is suggesting that they would rather leave this for the opposition because the yellow one belongs to BC and the hack people would rather protect the one that is currently shot rock put it maybe just tucked partly behind that corner. Yeah, you could guard that yellow one for sure. You could come to the face of the red, uh, like sit, sit in there, sit no, two. And this isn't wrong either, though. It's yeah. just to go pretty wide. We haven't been able to watch the sheet this game, but to... A little bit extra, just your couple inches four, out. Two. We four, know four, in the uh, four, no. Manitoba Canada game, this particular shot at the far yeah, end wasn't wider, finishing late so in the game. So maybe brooms down to keep it sliding. Yeah. Ooh, geez. They need it to be second shot. They still got eight minutes. The percentages in this game are quite low, but the champion Kelly Scott has made some big shots. And that's the score being very close. Every game she's played has been good. close, and she's managed to wiggle out of every situation. A couple threes coming Line's home to win. Guys. Six. Got room. Room. I and Sasha Keep Carter going not going playing going because of the flu. Good. So on hard, the right, hard. that's Sherry Frazier, really former hard. BC champion, go. who's come hard. off the bench, the fifth player, to join Jackie Armstrong. Very nice. That was exactly where she tapped her broom. Perfect throw. Way to go. Or here. She's, She's got yeah. that, though. Yeah. What's your gut? Want to take a time? We got one. Sure. Time out. Calling for Mark Daisy to come out. I mean, this is pretty nice. We could place it. It's a big well, game for Nova shot. Scotia. They lost yeah. their first three. Remember, this team finished here. third last year in Charlottetown. She's strong again. I'd like to be shot after this. You don't think that's important? We, if we know that, aren't they doing the same thing? And then we have a draw against two. Make it again. See, if you get 5-7, the 5 going right onto that one there. 
and then that one's wide open more, and it's hard for her to get her rocks further apart. Um, you don't like the freeze mark? Well, it's, it's a hard if shot. If you overthrow the freeze at all, you're not going to be shot rock. Yeah. I mean, if, if I come back here, she's got this slash. Well, she's playing. Yeah. I mean, story one, you want to make sure you get that possible. I think you smoked that on the nose. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it, Heather. I think Mark won that argument. It's, uh, <laughs> we don't need much ice. Yes, it's a great thing about this middle. sport that the husband has two minutes a game. Two minutes a game, Linda, to try to be the boss. That sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Mark's point is actually related to the score and the fact that Nova Scotia is only down one and he wants to make sure they score. Exactly. Heather was still thinking about trying to play the freeze and set up the deuce. So this is a, a hit on the front one. I have to be honest, I kind of like the freeze. I like, I like Heather's call because this works too. Mark's right also. But this is a tough shot. You're basically saying make a triple. Yep. Heather Smith, Dacey. Whoa, whoa. And her first whoa. trailing by one. Whoa. So at the moment, BC continues to sit one. Very close to making the shot. And Mark's other point was what you leave is also a little more difficult for Kelly Scott. So the shooter stays out in front. And now if Kelly draws to the same play, she's drawing by an opponent guard. Yeah. And yeah, has I to know be a little more saying. careful. Two line would be good. Yeah, Comes up an inch more, you make the triple, and you're sitting two. It's a great try. I think out to that line, don't you? Yeah. yeah. So Heather's hoping this one is not made. Kelly Scott trying to draw around that front red stone to sit two. You like that weight again? So Daylene Sivertson, better, who exactly. throws the second stones, the newest member of this team, that replacing was a Gina extra, Schrader, I think, eh? will hold the brush for Kelly Scott and Jackie Armstrong and Sherry Fraser will do the brushing. Final stone from the two-time Canadian champion, Kelly Scott. This looks no, heavier. No, no. Oh, she really came out fast no. from the hack. Sit, baby. What is it, Jackie? You're 9-10. 9-10 is at the back and out, possibly. Uh, are we? Okay, we're definitely three. So now, Sorry, can you? Find the ice. Do you know the ice? And this is that inside out shot. Yes. That we've, uh, you've talked about, both of you, throughout the day, how tough it is. Can you touch this stone? And in fact, she doesn't even have to hold the shooter, does she? No, she doesn't. But it's interesting because they've thrown one that's gone too straight, and they've thrown one that rubbed the guard by over curling. So. You just have to put down the broom, believe it, and throw this rock cleanly. The good news is rubbing the guards moved it just the enough that Heather ice. can throw more weight at it now. It was virtually buried before. Now Heather, I believe, can see a good third of that rock. There is a great angle of it. It's not that it's easy, but you can see a little more of it than they could before. So the opportunity, the chance here to win it. Score two. Is this the right ice? Don't have to hold the shooter. Second and third Whoa. shots right now are at Whoa. eight foot in top 12. Heather Smith, Dacey. Terry Lake, Bliss Girl. Comstock. Girl. It's got a move for her. Girl. She took a little more ice, remember? She took more ice, remember? Oh, she just came up in time. Just came up at the last moment to score the two Nova Scotia. 
after losing three straight, have now won two in a row, make the final eight seven. Damn it. And so Nova Scotia winning two in a row will face Jennifer Jones, Manitoba have lost now two in a row. That will be the featured game when Kathy Gauthier and Brian Mudrick join you Tuesday morning at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And that's also the first loss of the Scotties for BC and Kelly Scott. They're now four and one. So one game remains on the ice on sheet D. And New Brunswick leading by two, seven, five. Brunswick skipped by Rebecca Atkinson. They do have the last rock. Jody! Doing a nice job of keeping it clean out in front. The red stone that is in the rings was actually spun in on a double peel attempt by New Brunswick. But they know they have that two point edge and just need a way to get into that forefoot with their last one. All you can uh, hope for if you're an Alberta fan is sink one around the corner guard. And if Andrew decides to peel, she'll draw for three, and Andrew will have to hit against three. If Andrew hits the open one, there's a chance to hit and roll buried yourself, or if Andrew rolls out, you can roll buried. So there's still a chance here to make the New Brunswick team throw one. Got to make this one first. Buried in front of the tee line. Heather Nutterwin and see her numbers there. At 64 percent, missed Ball. a wonderful opportunity Ball. there in the yeah, ninth. You saw it. she rolled out okay, on a Ball. chance for two, settled for the single. And that's why it's Seven. a two-point game. Then of course in eight there was the rushing missed call and a steal of one for New Brunswick. So some mistakes along the way for Alberta and the and champions out of the Savile Sports Center in Edmonton skipped by Heather Nedowin. I think Andrew's not going to be fooled into trying to double. It's there. Ends the game. But if you miss low, Heather hoops another one around there and you're drawing the forefoot to, uh, to go to an extra end. And what you'd like to do is to force Heather to make a play on a yeah. rock, and that makes it harder to negotiate your way in behind cover. Andrea Kelly. Yeah. Yeah. Jody Asola. Jill Babin. Brush trying to hold it for her. And it'll roll to the edge, T line. Wanted to roll the other way, if anything, or knows it, as Linda said, uh, that just gives another great opportunity to sink another one, and Andrew's going to have to draw the forefoot. Taking a hair on my ice, guys. to keep herself alive here in the tent. Down by two. Whoa, line. Whoa, line. Laney Peters on the right. Whoa. Jessica Mayer on the left. Beth Iskew no. is calling line, managing the house. No, no, Laney. Take it right back. Better no. take it back than rub, though. Yeah, got to get it by that no. red one. Sit. And then they'll take it to the okay. corner. You're up by two, just make something go away. Nice job, Heather. Problem with where it is, and I think Andrew's decided to kind of tap that rock. Uh, free draw is what most people would try in this situation, but I guess if she comes to the face of that, she's actually a uh, second shot even, which is good enough. Just a as long as you Put down the ice okay, and think of like, weight appropriate for that ice. Not only the overthrowing in this spot. 
exactly in this spot because we just watch Heather's. It takes a long time to cross that line, and if you throw it up, it's not going to. Andrea, 71% on her draws so far. How much? Final Go stone. Well, you can hear the Rebecca Atkinson saying line is fine. Now it's the brushing and that extra bit of brushing. What did they do with that extra bit of brushing? Oh, the rub will stop it in time for a single point. And New Brunswick will knock off the Alberta champions out of Edmonton. Make the final 8-5. New Brunswick improves their record to 3-2. And, and Alberta drops to 2-3. So no more undefeated, no more winless. BC, Team Canada at four and one. Manitoba, Saskatchewan, New Brunswick with the two losses. And now you see already on this third day, those teams that have fallen below 500, Newfoundland Labrador at one and four. Heather Smith Daisy, last year's bronze medalist. Lost her first three, has won two in a row. Jennifer Jones lost the final a year ago. Won her first three, has lost her last two. That's the feature. Kathy Goche, Brian Mudrick will have that for you. 10.30 a.m. Eastern Tuesday morning. So till then, on behalf of all of us, thank you for joining us. The Scotties Canadian Women's Curling Championship is here on Canada Sports Leader. TSN Sports Center is next. <laughs>